I built a three agent AI system that writes Upwork proposals better than I can. To date, I've earned over six figures on Upwork, but not by grinding. I stopped writing manual proposals months ago. Instead, I built an AI system inside of N8N that does all the heavy lifting for me. And it's not just copy and paste fluff. These agents create personalized converting proposals in minutes. Let me show you how the automation works. So I'm inside of Upwork and I've done a search for marketing strategy. Now, I don't even need to read these proposals or these job briefs or requirements. I'm going to let the AI agents do this for me. So I'm going to click in this one here, which says account manager for sales. Then I'm going to copy all the text for the job brief, open up the AI agent chat window, and then all I need to do is paste it in here. Now you can see that the AI agents are getting to work. And once it's finished, I'll explain exactly how it works and what happened. The first AI agent is the project manager. This is the overseer. This will take the input from the chat window and then it will delegate the tasks. The first delegation is to an AI agent tool, which is the mermaid chart generator. And what this does is this will create a mermaid chart and the mermaid chart is the secret source because this will help you stand out from the crowd and nobody is using this on Upwork. The next agent is a generate application copy agent and what this will do is this will create the actual cover letter that I'm going to send back to the job post on Upwork. The third agent is a generate Google Docs proposal and what this does is this will take a Google Docs template it will actually fill in all the placeholders and make it highly personalized for this specific job and this is the sub workflow that it calls. It's using another AI agent which will generate the Google Docs. It will then clone the docs template. So I've created a template and it just needs to fill in the blanks. It will then amend the permissions, it will update the doc and then it will generate the URL. Once the automation has finished, it will then return everything that you need inside of the chat. So you can see here, I've got the application copy. This has all been personalized for the job that I copied and pasted inside of here, as you can see. It's then created a Google Docs. Here's the Google Doc and basically it's personalized the title. So this is based on whatever the job brief was. And remember, I never read this. It then gives you a strategy overview, basically responding to whatever they need. And this is where most people go wrong when it comes to Upwork because all they do is talk about themselves. And I hate to break it to you, but clients do not care about your background or your financial history or your education or the types of jobs that you've done. All clients care about is what you can do for them. So this is a very personalized approach. And all I'm talking about is their strategy and their requirements. And you can see here, everything inside of this template has been personalized for whatever they wanted on that job brief. It even includes a personalized approach. So this is tailored for whatever they need, the tools they're using, their onboarding requirements, campaign launch and iteration, performance monitoring, etc. And then I've given them basically like a flow, an overview of what will happen. And then there's a bit about me, so my history. So before I was doing AI automations, I spent 12 years doing marketing. So it gives you a basic overview of what I've done and the types of clients that I've worked with. The next thing it will do is it will generate a memory chart. Now this is something that nobody else does. This is a secret weapon to help you stand out from the crowd. What you need to do is you copy this memory chart and then you head over to a website like Whimsical. You paste it here and what this does is this will give you like an organization flow. And then what I like to do is copy and paste that organizational flow inside of the Word document right before where it says a bit about me. And again, this is about making it completely personalized. But the great thing about this automation is you're not doing any of the heavy lifting. AI is doing it all for you. And then all I need to do is take the application application copy, which is all this here, go over to the job listing in Upwork, click on apply now, and then paste it into the cover letter. That's it. That's all you need to do. A completely personalized, unique approach to applying for jobs. It literally takes 20 seconds per job because because I'm using the fastest language model out there and I'm gonna show you exactly how you can build this. And if you're enjoying this video, please subscribe to the channel and smash the like button on this video. Let me show you how to build this automation. So the trigger is going to be a chat and this is very important because the chat is the input, but it's also the output. The next node is an AI agent node. If I open this up, you'll see that it gets the prompt from the chat trigger, which is whatever I've copied and pasted. So that's gonna be the chat input. And then for the system message, I've just given it this, right? You are an ultimate automation assistant for writing upward proposals. So I've asked it to do three things. The first is a mermaid chart. The second is a Google Docs. And the third is a short Upwork application message. You do not write anything yourself. Remember, this is a project manager. This is going to delegate all the tasks. Your sole job is to delegate and correct and find the correct agents to coordinate the outputs. That's that's it. That's all it has to do. I've also given it a think tool. So use this to reason deeply or validate your actions before the final output. I've just found that this gives me better outputs when I'm building a system like this. And then I've got the three agents. So the mermaid chart agent, the Google Docs agent, and then the application copy agent. I've given it some rules and the instructions are to wait for the user to paste the upper job brief or description. And then I've set it and given it some parameters. So this is for the application copy and this is the layout of how I want the application copy. And then there's some final reminders. The main thing is that you are, this agent is a router. It's a project manager. It's not the writer. It doesn't create anything. It just oversees the entire process. It will always delegate. And then you need to return the intermediate steps. This is very important because you're sending this information out to the sub agents, which means that they need to send it back to the project manager or the overseer. And because I'm using an AI agent, I do need a language model. So for this, I'm using Flash 2.5. The reason I'm using 
Gemini is because it's lightning fast with NA to N automations. And this task is about speed because most of the output has been templated. The next node is a Windows buffer node, and this is at 10. So this is just a context window. And then the first AI agent tool that you need is the generate memory chart. So you can find that if you head over to the nodes panel here on the right, just do a search for AI agent tool. And it's this one here. It's plugged into Gemini Flash 2.5 again, because like I said, this is all about speed. So the description is very simple. You create the memory chart. And then for the prompt, I've just let the model automatically define that. And that just means that it's going to get it from the project manager agent. And for this, the prompt is your task is to, to take the input of the Upwork job description and return it as a mermaid diagram. And so this is just the output that I need it to be. And this is just the syntax that you use when you are creating a mermaid chart or diagram. And it must start with G, otherwise it will just break. And then you can connect up both nodes to the AI agents using the same language model. So next AI agent tool is going to generate the application copy. And the description is the same. It's just creating the application copy after receiving the Upwork job description. The system message is, I'm a marketing specialist applying to jobs on freelance platforms. That's about it. Just give it some context. And then I've given it some examples. So everything that you see inside of the curly brackets is placeholder text. The AI agent will, will replace all the placeholder text with whatever it creates based on the job description. The rules I've given it is any dollar signs will be replaced by the Google link. And I'll show you that inside of the Google Docs subload and how that works. I've given it a tone, so writing casual Spartan tone of voice. Do not use emojis or fly, flowery language. This is a professional freelancer platform. I'm applying for jobs, so I don't want to you know, sound amateur or use emojis. If there's a name included, somewhere in the de description, add it after the height. This is very important because this will make it personalized, but it also shows the prospect or the job recruiter that you've actually read the job brief. And the most important thing is output the application copy only, no reasoning. Once you run it, you'll see an output like this. The next node is going to call a subflow. And so for this, it's just generate the Google Docs proposal and its job is to just create the Docs proposal. And you can see here that it's actually created and executed the sub workflow and has returned the actual Google Docs. And the last tool is the Think tool. This just gives it more context. This allows it some more reasoning, some more time, and to make sure that I've got all the parts that I need for this automation to work. So you can see here, once it's responded, that all tools have returned a result. I will now output the information to the user replacing the dollar symbols with the Google Docs URL. So the second part of the auto automation is the sub workflow. And for this, I need a trigger that will execute the workflow, which is this one here. The next node is an AI agent node. So open this up. And then for the prompt, I'm actually defining it from the execute workflow trigger. So the project manager AI agent from the first workflow will send the query over, which is the job description or the job brief. And then I've asked it to for a specific output. So I need to toggle this on. And then for the system message, I've given it this. So return only the following J JSON object based on the user's description and Sanji's expertise. Obviously I'm Sanji. And then the output is nothing else, no explanations, no markdown or commentary. And so for this, I've given it a JSON output. So I want the title of the strategy, a brief explanation of the strategy, a specific part of their request, information steps, strategy flow diagram, and then the about me. And this is very important because I'm gonna use these fields inside of the Google Docs and replace the placeholders on that template. And then for this description, the context is the chat input, which is the chat trigger from the first workflow. And then the rules are, I only want a JSON object as above. The values must be strings. Do not include markdown. Do not include any commentary. Do not include anything outside of the JSON block. The language model I'm using is Gemini Flash 2.5 because it's super fast. It doesn't need to do much heavy lifting here. And Flash is the fastest model. And then because I've turned on the specific output, I'm gonna need an output parser. And inside of here, all I've done is I basically passed the variables that I've asked the AI agent to create. And the reason for this is because I can use them downstream when I'm uploading and creating the Google Docs. Everything that you see inside of the quotation marks is just placeholder text. You can actually leave it blank. It doesn't need to have anything in there because the AI agent will replace that. And then the next node is a Google Drive node. And for this example, I'm just gonna use the operation copy because I've already got a template that's been created. So all I need to do is reference that template, which is the Google Doc proposal marketing. And this is what the document looks like. So everything inside of these curly brackets will be replaced by the placeholder text that I'm generating inside of the AI agent in this workflow. And then for the file name, because I wanted to create it and make it unique, I'm just gonna use the title of the strategy and I've toggled on copy in the same folder. But before I can update the Google Docs, I need to amend the permissions. So I've got another Google Drive node here. And what this does is this is a share operation. So we'll take the ID from the previous node because once it clones the template, it will then generate an ID. And then for the role, I've given it reader and for the type is anyone. So now that the permissions have been updated, we can now update the Google Docs. The next node is an update doc node, which is a Google Docs. And for this, we're gonna use the operation update. And then for the doc ID or URL, we're just gonna use the ID from the previous node because we know what the ID is. And that's coming from the Google Doc template. You wanna make sure that simplify is checked. And then what I'm doing is I'm actually doing a find and replace for the text. So anything that has title of system will be then replaced by the title of strategy, which is a variable that I've created. The same is true for brief explanation of system. I've then replaced it with 
with a variable that's the brief explanation of my strategy. The same is true for the specific part of the request and so on. So this template will be modified to become this. And then the last node is we want to grab the URL. So this is a set fields node and I've created a variable called doc URL. It's a string. And then for this, what I've done is I've basically taken the base URL of every Google Docs. I've added the slash edit, but in the middle is the document ID, which is the long string. So basically this is the document ID that you can see highlighted inside of the Chrome URL browser. Once this sub workflow has been executed and is successful, it then needs to return the value, the doc URL. So if you go down to the bottom, you'll see a field to return, which is the doc URL. And that's the value that you see inside of here. And so there you have it. This is a really fast system. It took 26 seconds to generate a memory chart, application copy, and the Google Docs. And remember guys, this is 99% automated with AI. The 1% is you having to copy the application copy and send it over to the job on Upwork. And if you want this automation, click on the link in the description below this video and sign up for the Automation Kings private community. Inside, I've got all the automations and blueprints that I talk about on the channel, but I've also got a community of AI agency owners, people who use AI for side hustles, and guys who work for AI startups. And so inside here, I'll show you how you can create your own AI agency in 16 days. I've also got content on how to create SaaS tools and integrate them into N8N. I'll show you how to reverse engineer of IG reels that get 18 million views, and even a free lead scraper that landed me my first $2,000 client. So click on the link in the description, follow the on-screen instructions, and I'll see you on the side. And before you go, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, turn the notifications on, and I'll see you next time. Take care.